Hey y'all, so let's continue on with this Planets Through the Destruction series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Moon and Critica. So if you have Moon and Critica, or you know someone with Moon and Critica, or you just want to know what's about this placement, like what's the tea on this placement, continue listening and let's just get right into it. So Critica is the Nishakshara that is located at the end of Aries to the beginning of Taurus. And it's located from 26 degrees of Aries to, I think 26, four degrees of Aries to 10 degrees of Taurus. And basically y'all, this is the first sun roll in the Shakshara. So the Kritika is all about the truth and all about basically cutting to the truth. One of the symbols for Kritika is a knife. So the fact that you have this as your moon is very prominent and very significant. So y'all, let's talk about it so as always these are going to also be in written form on patreon so if you want to check those out you definitely can you can join for like five dollars a month and there's an extra paragraph on patreon for patreons only on how to create this uh how to create your fortune if you have this placement so having the moon in Critica, this makes you a very fierce and fiery person you're very fiery in your emotions you should definitely if you have this place it make sure that you're not too quick to anger because that could cause a lot of issues and problems in your life and things of that nature but you are a very fiery person you have a very determined stance and you're naturally a leader with this placement as we talked about Kritika is um the first um sun rule in the shaksha and of course the sun is a leader in astrology so this brings creates a sharp determined and offery fire often fiery emotional nature Kritika is ruled by the sun and symbolized by a blade and gives individuals with this placement a strong sense of purpose, clarity, and ability to cut through emotional confusion. So you're able to basically see the truth of things really quickly. You don't like to like play dumb or play stupid or act like um, things are one way when they're really not. Like you're very like blunt basically and you're not someone to basically deal with the social niceties if something is off you're going to point it out um these individuals are often straightforward and direct in expressing their feelings valuing truth and authenticity authenticity in their connections so or in their interactions so critica also brings a nurturing quality but this it is expressed in a protective and sometimes stern way as these individuals take their responsibility seriously especially towards loved ones they're often joined you're often joined with this place you're often drawn to leadership roles and you're driven by a need to shine and be recognized for your abilities so obviously this makes sense because you have sun as your ruling um rules in the chakra and while your emotions can sometimes come across as intense or critical they are deeply passionate you are deeply passionate and have a strong desire to achieve your goals often channeling your emotions into personal growth and success so like i said there's an exclusive bit on portion uh, a bit on patreon on how you can use this if you have this place with how you can create your fortune but i'll give you guys a little gist on the podcast so natives with moon and critical could create their fortune by being open to new ways of seeing and doing things and not get caught up in the mundane routine and instead focus deeply on their passions so that is one way that you could create your fortune using this place with it and thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys on my patreon or my members only because members get first dibs on this content and i'll see you in the next one bye